two, one. What's up, guys? It's Rob. It's Automation Weekly. With me today is the co-founder, former CMO of Herefish by Bullhorn. I guess you're still the CMO. What's going on, Travis? Hey, what's up, Rob? How you doing? Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, my official title is just co-founder Herefish now at, at Bullhorn. So we don't really have uh, we don't have titles we're throwing around anymore. Got it. So titleless. I like that. That's the way to be. Yeah. T- living, exactly. Living exactly. Just living my living my life. All right. We were talking about. We just were just waxing poetic as we like to do on marketing yes. and strategy and uh building relationships in the age or in the time of corona uh, yes. travis just released a blog post on that to the uh, herefish blog so travis what's going on tell me about yeah, man. relationships for sure you know it's like when you think about everybody's working from home everybody's remote uh, there's a lot of uncertainty a lot of doubt so there's there's some fear there right so how do you how do you build relationships when you're not sitting next to your workmates how do you build relationships when you're not you know, uh, in front of your customers and, and prospects every day. And then how do you build relationships with candidates and contractors out in the field? So a um, couple, couple of ways to, to do that. Obviously, we're going to be biased on automation, but uh, I do think it can help be a multiplier of that force when you're, um, when you're kind of sitting at a desk very far away from everybody. So when, when you think about your team, you know, it's, it's celebrate those internal wins. It's that virtual gong. Everybody in a staffing firm probably has a big gong in the corner when you get a placement and everybody goes and, and bangs it and, and it's exciting. So rather than doing that in person, just send like an internal internal notifications to, um, you know, Slack so-and-so windows. just, yeah, exactly. They so, So-and-so got this, uh, this placement. Let's celebrate all the wins we possibly can, especially in a time of, of kind of uncertainty. So that's one thing to kind of build that team relationship and keep that, keep that momentum going. Um, with clients, it's, it's what we would, the advice we'd offer in an upturn, it's, it's, you know, on this, on the sales side, you want to make sure that you're in front of your customers uh, pretty frequently, Uh, especially now when they're, they're compressing their hiring needs. Um, so it's, it's automating some outreach. It's staying on top of those relationships and the same with prospects, right? So now's the time that prospects are all pulling back. They're not a customer yet, but you can establish yourself as a thought leader in their mind by just you know sharing content you're, you're probably not going to sell any new deals right now but you can once we roll out of this uh you can be established in their mind as the person to, to talk to or the firm to, to work with uh, and then the same thing on the candidate side so candidates are uncertain there's a lot of new applicants coming through i'm sure trying to trying to hammer for jobs that they might have been released from uh, but on the same same side there's there's industries that are exploding right now uh, you have healthcare. you have uh, some light industrial that are going going absolute parabolic uh and the the same problems they had pre pre uh corona covid 19 whatever we're calling it today um are exist to not exist now so there's too many jobs there's not enough candidates to fill them so there's there's a there's still some opportunities there i know there's other industries that are having some compression on uh, the it side uh, i think it, again it's it's offering yourself as a thought leader to those candidates so when we do pull out of it they they want to work with your firm versus some competition, so that's that's kind of the the, the quick and dirty advice I kind of jotted down for that post uh, we released yesterday. But there there's there's a ton there. This isn't this isn't our first rodeo either. You know we were we were at uh, software uh, yeah, staffing software company called Sendouts back in the day in 2007, eight, and nine. Um, so we saw the kind of pre, the during, and the post and. I can say the post usually is a pretty pretty uh, dramatic uh, hockey stick once 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 we pull out of this. So uh, the companies that kind of focus on relationships today will 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 reap some rewards in the future. Sounds good, and I'm uh, I'm on that train. So all right, well yeah, I appreciate it, Travis. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for tuning in, Automation Weekly. Signing off. <laughs>